Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and I just bought on Indiegogo a really cool electric motorbike that I want to share with you guys. Now first of all, this is not a sponsored video. The company did not pay me or ask me to make this video at all. I just found this cool thing on Indiegogo. I wrote an article about it on Electrex, so definitely go check out that article. And uh, now I want to show you guys what I bought because I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so I'll take you onto the page here so you can see it. This is known as the Black Tea Moped. It is an electric moped, though it's not really a moped. It doesn't have pedals. It goes 50 miles an hour or 80 kilometers per hour, so it's pretty fast. This is basically a light electric motorcycle. This, this is past moped level, which is usually like 30 miles an hour, 45 kilometers per hour, that sort of thing. Uh, the cool thing about this one, though, is that it ships with moped level speeds. So it can be limited to, in the US, 30 miles an hour, or in Europe, uh, 45 kilometers per hour. That means that in most of Europe, you can ride it as a L1E vehicle. You don't need a motorcycle license. I think you just need a car license. In the US, it varies state to state. Some states, you need a motorcycle license. Some, you don't. A lot of states, you just need a car license as well for a moped class vehicle. But the cool thing about this one is you can remove the speed limit and go up to 50 miles an hour. And so let me show you what I like about this bike. First of all, I think it's got a really cool retro design. Now the battery box could use a little bit of work in my opinion, though they sent out an update recently that said they are working on making that uh, a little bit uh, different. They're going to do some sort of design. They haven't said what, but it just looks like the battery box is a little boring here. Other than that, it looks like a cool classic scrambler bike. I mean, this is essentially an urban electric motorcycle. You know, it only goes 50 miles an hour, but it's also got these dual sport tires, uh, su sufficient suspension that you could do some off-roading with this. And it just looks like a cool scrambler type bike. Uh, let's see, some specs here. It's got a range of 70 kilometers, which I think is about 45 uh, miles on a single battery but you can add a second battery to it and there's room uh, to carry both of them on there. It's not like you have to keep one at home and come back and swap. You can carry two people. It's got uh, pillion pegs so you can carry a passenger on the back of that bench seat. Uh, like I said, it goes uh, up to 50 miles an hour, 80 kilometers an hour. It's got a rear 3 kilowatt continuous 5 kilowatt peak hub motor. Uh, I mean, this thing just looks really cool. So who makes this? This is from a company called Black Tea. It's a new startup out of Munich, Germany, and they don't actually build them in Germany. They do build them in China, so uh, that's why the price is so good. And speaking of the price, it is right now listed at about $3,000. I didn't pay this much, I actually got it for less. When I got the bike, it still had the early bird pledges available, so I paid about 2,200 euros or $2,600 for the bike, which in my opinion is a crazy good deal. I mean, that's getting to uh, 125cc gas motorcycle prices right there. I mean, you can always find gas bikes for cheaper, you can get a thousand dollar one straight from China, but this is actually getting comparable to average decent gas bike prices so that's really awesome in my opinion now i actually did get a second battery with it so in total i paid let's see uh 2925 euros or 3400 dollars which is a bit pricey in general right so like if you compare this to uh, an electric bike or something obviously that's a lot of money but in the grand scheme of things for a light electric motorcycle they can do 50 miles an hour that's not bad, especially considering that with that second battery, we're looking at 140 kilometers of range, something like 85, 90 miles, something like that. I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool ride right there. And right, so one of the reasons that I actually decided to back this project, well, I guess there are a number of them. First of all, I'm still feeling regret that I didn't back the uh, Onyx RCR a couple of years ago when I first covered that project. I wrote an article about it on Electrek and it's an awesome bike. I've actually ridden it since. I went out and visited the company and, and test rode the Onyx RCR and I love the thing. And I can't believe that when it was selling for about 2200 bucks on the Indiegogo, I didn't back it. Now I you know, was worried that this is a new company, maybe they're not gonna deliver. And uh, so I didn't pull the trigger. A lot of people did, and they got an amazing motorcycle at a crazy good price. Now the bike costs almost twice what it originally cost. It's somewhere around $4,200 now, which is still probably worth it because it's an awesome 60 mile an hour electric motorbike. But anyone who got it on the Indiegogo got a crazy good deal. So I still feel a bit stung by that. And when I saw this one come up, it's got sort of that similar vibe to the RCR. It's got that sort of 
old school vintage motorbike built on sort of a moped frame and it, it sort of ticks some of those boxes for me. Next, the company seems realistic about their time frame. Let's see when they said they're going to deliver this thing. I think it's April of next year. Yeah, so they're not looking at delivery until April. So it's not one of these companies that says, all right, we'll take your money now. In two months, expect a motorcycle to show up. Obviously, if you see something like that, it's, it's just not going to happen. They're still in the development stage, and they understand that there are a lot of steps they have to go through. Something that does make me a little bit nervous is they haven't done homologation yet. They've designed it to be uh, street legal in the US and the EU, but they don't have the certification yet because they haven't gone through that process. Now they expect it to take about four months, which is a fairly reasonable estimate. The nice thing is there is a lot of overlap between EU and US homologation requirements, and they're actually using as many gas bike parts as they can to speed up that process. So uh, a lot of just the generic parts that uh, would be used on both gas and electric motorcycles, things like wheels, brakes, those sorts of things that are all the same, uh, handlebars, mirrors, etc. All of that stuff they can use existing products that they don't have to develop themselves and that are already going to pass homologation in both regions, the US and the EU. So they're taking steps to sort of address some of the concerns like that and they have a timeline that I feel is reasonable aiming for a delivery in spring of next year. They're not trying to rush this thing. Now that is kind of a bummer because when you buy something you, you want to have it soon, you want that instant gratification and I know going into this I'm going to be waiting at least until April and to be perfectly honest it's probably not going to show up in April. If it does that'd be great, you know, like go for it. But I'm realistic in that I know that most of these Indiegogo projects overrun their time frame a bit. Because this one has a reasonable estimate it, it could actually be delivered but uh, I'm not holding my breath that I'll definitely see it in April. I do think it's going to be delivered, otherwise I wouldn't have spent my money on this, right? But uh, I'm willing to take a risk on it because I've seen so many cool electric motorcycles come out that I've missed the chance to get in early on. Another reason I wanted to back it is just because I preach electric motorcycles and electric bikes all the time, you know? I talk the talk and, and I want to make sure that I walk the walk too. I want to support new electric motorcycle and electric bicycle startups that are trying to get into the game. This company, Black Tea, seems like they know what they're doing. They've come up with a great design. It seems like they have a good plan. I like their pricing structure. I don't want to pay twice this price a year from now to get a bike that I could have gotten cheaper. So for all those reasons, I decided to bite the bullet, take a risk, and plunk down a little over 3,000 bucks to get a new electric motorcycle with two batteries. Am I saying this is something you should do? No, I'm not saying that at all. If you are risk adverse, you should probably not do this. This is a big gamble. Anytime you back something on Indiegogo or Kickstarter or any other crowdfunding site, you know going into it that you're not really buying a product, you're backing a company. You're supporting them and helping them get to the point where they can produce that product. So I know that the money that I paid has already gone to them. They're going to get it and they're going to spend it on the process of developing this motorcycle into a production motorcycle. I hope that means in the end that I'm going to get my bike. I believe it does and that's why I've taken the risk. But anybody who is not comfortable taking that risk themselves, don't do this. If you do have a little room for risk, you have some money laying around that you can put into something like this, then it's kind of fun to back a project like this, to be a part of the group of backers that, that helps a new company come to life and bring a new product from the drawing board to the street. And so I think it's a fun thing and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, maybe let me know in the comments below if you think I'm gonna get a motorcycle out of this or not. And last but not least, it's time to announce the winner of the book giveaway for my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... Grant Adamson. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like. Either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles. And hopefully the Black Tea Motorcycle will make it into this book one day if it makes it onto the road. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you'd like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And if you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. See you next time. And for anybody who's wondering, my wife and I just moved to a new apartment and I got myself a little studio here, which is why I've waited until now to do this. Thank you guys so much. I couldn't have done this without you and I, I can't explain in words what this means. This is just, I'm so proud of this. <laughs>